Thank you, uh, the moderator. As was been mentioned, I'm called George Awazanio Lege, as a director for immunization South Sudan. I'm going to present on behalf of the South Sudan. Yes, I think this is our case. In uh, South Sudan, we prioritize uh, the three diseases. We have a malaria, and uh, pneumonia, and rotavirus. Uh, these things was not studied today. Even for us, was been uh, prioritized from our CMYP of 2019-2022. Uh, we are not able to present. So currently, now uh, government of South Sudan, especially Minister of Health, is committed to introduce these three uh, vaccines. Is the vaccines that really uh, can protect the life of the children and uh, disease. So uh, we put that malaria vaccine is going to introduce uh, next year. We present our applications to Gavi, went through the process, was being approved, and uh, we're just waiting the, the implementations. Even the budget was approved, everything. And uh, next year, April, or the, first, the second quarter, we'll introduce the malaria. For PCV and rota, we uh, submit our uh, case to Gavi also during our uh, uh, P, uh, follow it, PSR, uh, the one being approved last year and we started the implementation and uh, was being approved. So what is waiting from us to make the applications of the budget of the uh, introduction of the PCV and rotor vaccine? So the country is ready to introduce the PCV and rotor vaccines in uh, the first quarter of 2025. So from our side, yes, we are ready to introduce because the burden of the disease was very high to the children of South Sudan. And we are not able to introduce because of the many challenges that I will present here. Uh, the plants, everything I think is already that we are just ready to start. Next. Yeah, the opportunities, I think uh, first we'll have uh, the government. The go government is ready and uh, is committed to bring the services to the children of South Sudan. So from the burden of the disease, especially the death. So uh, also we have uh, infrastructure. We are going to introduce the vaccines. It will not start from nowhere. We'll use the same, the government's uh, infrastructure to uh, introduce these two or three new vaccines. And uh, we have uh, the, the, the good capacity of uh, cold chain, uh, more than the 60% of the health facilities that uh, delivering the immunization service, having a cold chain, and also we're still going to receive uh, the new uh, CCOP from uh, Gavi support, and there is uh, uh, 64 also through the CDC, uh, African CDC is going to bring, means we raise the coverage of the cold chain to the 80%, and that one is one of the opportunities means if we are going to introduce the vaccines, we are not going to think about where to bring the, what, the cold chain to keep the vaccines. We're already having the structure and the opportunities there. Uh, support of the Gavi, yes, I think I have mentioned this. Uh, Gavi gave us the money for the five years through the, the PSR, and we're having uh, the one of uh, uh, the accelerations. All this uh, funding is available within the country. It is to support the introductions of the new vaccines because 
we're going to integrate. We are not going to put it parallel. For example, once we introduce the vaccines, we'll be in the same system. We'll use the same funding that in the country to introduce what is needed from us. Next. Uh, what is uh, needed from us to work with uh, our partners, especially WHO, UNICEF, and the NGOs. Uh, South Sudan, one of the country that uh, relying on the partners, I will say like 90% uh, of the health facilities being uh, supported by the partners, uh, local NGOs, international, and our traditional partners, UNICEF and WHO. They're the ones supporting the country. These are opportunity that are available within the country. And uh, also we have the Buma Health Initiative. The Buma Health Initiative is one of the initiatives I think being brought to the country. It's supporting the, the community level health uh, service. And that one also is good, was being supported by Gavi. And we'll use them to, to raise the awareness, to bring the vaccines near to the community. Uh, we have a good uh, system, it's already in place, DHIS2, for collecting of the data so that we can able to have a good uh, following up of the information. We'll use the same system that we have in the country. Yep. Uh, anticipated uh, challenges, yes. You know, sometimes you are doing the things, you start to think, what are, when I'm doing this, what will happen ahead? So from our side, yes, we have a interest to introduce the new vaccines, but we have a challenge of the co-financing. The co-financing, these PCV vaccines, we're supposed to introduce them three, four years ago. But due to the co-financing, we are not able to move up to now. And uh, this is one of the bigger challenges to us, and also uh, mobilization of the sufficiency vaccines. You know, Gavi is going to give us some vaccines, but we don't know the gap, who will cover it if we don't have the co-financing. Because if we requested the 500,000 uh, children, uh, Gavi will give us the 80%, percent mean the 20% will be a gap if we don't have the co-financing. These challenges is going to face us uh, from uh, my side as a government of Minister of South Sudan, Minister of Health South Sudan, we are going to try our best to look for the what? For the co-financing. But we'll not say, okay, we'll try within, but I'm now requesting also the partners to look for this so that will not take us back. When we started the introductions and then the vaccines will uh, not be enough and then we start running here and there. So this is the case, I'm just raising it. Uh, establishment of the uh, robust, uh, robust uh, pediatric uh, bacterial surveillance system, especially uh, after now, since we, uh, 2019, we have a sentinel uh, sites for rotor vaccines. And uh, we just aiming to also have a good system so that we will have a surveillance of uh, pneumonia and uh, other vaccines so that we will know exactly the effect and uh, the, the potency of the vaccines before the vaccines and after the vaccines, like uh, what uh, Mustafa uh, presented here, the case of uh, Kenya, so that we can able to know that, yes, we are doing something uh, good. Uh, yes, especially within the EPI, this is one of the challenge. We're having the, the competitive uh, activities. Uh, let me put the example for me as an EPI manager. I will have many meetings. Sometimes will affect us when we are going to uh, prepare our applications for rotor and vaccines. So in this case, we're asking uh, the, the, the partners if there is an opportunity of giving us the chance of a consultant so that to come and work with us so that can help in the introduction will not affect or will not uh, take time. We already raised this case to Gavi. 
but uh, after now I raise it, especially in July, but after now there is no any response. We say we need uh, the consultant to come and support us within the country. We want to start our applications now so that we'll submit during the first window in uh, January, so that at least at the end, when we are reaching June or July, we have our approval so that we we'll start preparations, trainings, all these things for the introduction of the vaccine. Yep. Uh, way forward, yeah, this is what we are going to do. The first things after going from here, we'll uh, call the NITAC, or in our country, we call it uh, CITAC, South Sudan Immunization uh, Technical Advisory Group. We'll call them to discuss or to elaborate on the, the two vaccines so that to give us the approval. We have started, we give them some information, but they are not yet come to discuss these things. But this will be a priority because without their approval, we will not able to do anything. So this is what we are going to uh, do. Also, we'll uh, look for the, because when we are raising the case, at least uh, ICC must endorse to agree so that uh, we'll get uh, the, the funding from Gavi especially. And uh, engagement of the consultants, I have raised it. So we are waiting from Gavi to give us a go ahead so that we'll start our applications. It's good uh, for me, I'm seeing all these partners here, they are ready to come and support. If also one of you is ready to uh, support with the consultants, I think we don't have uh, any objections, so that will give us the speed of uh, applications. Yep. Uh, from the cold chain side, yes, uh, as I mentioned, we still going to expand our cold chain so that uh, we'll have at least 80% of the cold chain having cold, uh, cold chain equipment will have uh, the potency vaccines. I think uh, this is uh, my case. I will say thank you. Shukran Jazeelan.